Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing, um, I guess I would call it more like a craft with me video. Um, it's not really going to be a tutorial. I will kind of explain like what I'm doing as I'm doing it, but I'm not really trying to teach you anything. I mean, if you learn something, that's awesome. But um, I just thought this would be a fun video to do. We're going to be making an interactive memory file. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what... Heidi Swap calls them. Um, she came out with this system years ago and when she came out with it I like fell in love. I'm super obsessed with it. Ever since then I've been like hoarding uh, memory files and I've made a few of my own and I just really love this system. It's so cute. Like I have like three or four of them that I have that I've made and they're just sitting in like a file folder holder that I got from Target and they just look so cute there like all stacked together. Um, I'm going to show you this one that I made um, quite a while ago, um, a few years ago I think, and um, just to show you kind of how I make them. Um, I think this one's kind of like falling apart a little bit. This is really old. Um, so this is just one that I made to uh, commemorate my grandmother's 70th birthday party. It was a surprise party. <laughs> Actually, now that I like look at these pictures, I remember it so well. Like this was her. Oh, um, my family flew my grandma's brother in. Um, he lives in Alabama, so she was like crying. It was so cute. Um, but I think we freaked her out because there was like 20 people there or something like that. 15, 20 people and like all screamed surprise at the same time. Actually like scared the crap out of my son who was only like six months old at the time. Not even six months old. He was like, he was only like four months old <laughs> at this time. So, but he used to have like, he still does. He doesn't like noises. So I freaked him out. Anyway, um, so I just have like. Uh, a file folder like a large file folder within a large file folder and then on the back I have a mini one that's just like closed like held closed by um, um, a tag and that just holds it closed right there and then inside here I have a mini memory file that's in here like this and then I have a little photo flip So, super, super cute. And I just love how, like, from the, even from the outside, it just looks so cute and layered. And, like, I have these Heidi Swap little, like, I don't know, clear pop or something, I think they're called. Little ghost letters. And just, like, oh, so, 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 so cute. So, um, I brought out mostly Heidi Swap supplies, but I did bring out a couple, a couple other, um, file folders that I wanted to use. Because I have, you guys, if you could see the amount of file folders I have, you would probably die because it's absurd. Um, anyway, and it's just all held together by just like hole punching and um, some like seam biting that I sprayed with um, Color Shine from Heidi Swap. So I have this one. Um, that's really cute. So the heart says love. And then I have this one. Oh my god, I love so much. It's got like laser cut little triangles you can like see through. They're, they're holes. <gasps> so cute. I don't know if I want to put this inside of this. I mean, I kind of think I do. But I kind of think I might want it on the inside. So I brought those out. And then I got these. Um... Mm, these and then I honestly I wish I had bought more of these when they came out than I did because I'm like I don't want to use them because they're so beautiful and I feel like it would be really hard to find these now um in these patterns she has other ones in like her newer patterns but these ones in her like OG patterns this is like um like when I say OG patterns I mean like I don't know like these not, her newer ones are quite different the first few collections um, 
from when I like found out about her were very like vintagey and just like very much like all these like papers and stuff are from her and I just love 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 the way it looks and like the zebra pattern is from one of her paper pads I'm like hoarding her those paper pads because they're amazing anyway um I bought these out I'm pr I'll probably just use one of these these are like the larger size and then I did bring out does it even say like the collection name on it I don't think so I think it just says memory files I know the paper pads say the collection, but I can't remember. Vintage Chic? I think that's what it's called. I think that's what this one is called. Vintage Chic. But. If anybody knows where I can find some of these older, like, memory files, well, let me know because uh, I'm all about it. So there's two of these, and these are reversible too, which is really cool. I really like this inside. So I brought those two out, and then I brought some of the, like, accessories. So here's some of the large labels that fit on the larger ones. I don't think I don't think I have any more mini labels, but I brought out this um, little photo stack thing. I don't know what she calls them. But I brought that out, and then some of these little photo frames, which I actually haven't used any of. I think I bought a whole bunch of her stuff somewhere when there's like a sale or on clearance or something so I have a stash of her stuff I have one banner left in there which this is this video is just going to be like the construction of the memory files so I don't think I'm actually going to be using these um maybe I'll put some of these in I don't know these are some of like her glitter and enamel words that I love and then I have these two packs of the banners so just gonna go ahead and do this all right so I know I want these two other ones that I pulled out and I think I want to put one of these ones in between I think I want to put this one in between so I'm gonna go ahead and gonna, I kind of want to uh, I'm gonna do it like this because I do like seeing all of the labels I'm gonna do like that and so it'll look like that um, and then I think on the inside here I'm gonna put a mini one and I'll put the pink one so that will go in there like that and then I want to put all of the things that are actually gonna be bound together um, together first so I think those are the only things that I'm actually going to be like binding in there um, I could show you my other ones maybe I'll, if you guys are interested in seeing the other ones I've done because there's lots of other techniques that I've used and stuff that are actually really cool but that was the first one I grabbed so so I think that is everything that's actually going to be bound in there now you can actually take obviously you can take anything like papers and stuff like that like 12 by 12 papers and bind those in actually but I think this is going to be big enough because I don't the memory files you don't want them to get too too chunky because then if you want to store them in like the file folder holder things then they get a little bit too chunky and then they don't fit in there super well so I think this is good enough and I'm going to go ahead and actually get my crocodile my big bite crocodile and punch the holes for these. I'm actually going to punch the holes on the mini one first so that I know that they're not too far apart. And all you do is you take it um, and you only have to punch, I think on this one I actually accidentally punched, I don't remember if that was an accident, I think it was an accident. I punched like not close enough to the thing. You really only have to punch like half a circle. And I punched it like all the way in so that it wasn't touching the edge. So I ended up having to cut off some of it. But I'm just going to line it up on here so that it's only covering half. So it's only going to cut, it's only going to punch out half a circle. You'll see once I'm done. Kind of want it to be. Oh, no, I don't want that one. There we go. I want the big one. There we 
go. It only punched out half a circle because when you open it, and it's a full circle. And I want these to be pretty close to the edge because I do want a large binding. Like, I want the space between here to be wider. So there's that, and all you do is take the one that you've punched, and I like, I think I'm zoomed out as much as I can be, okay, and just take the other ones and you line it up like where you want it to be in the file. I want this one to be in the middle, so I'm going to line this up in the middle, and then you can either mark it or you can just punch it like this. I'm just going to punch it like this. There's that, and then I can go ahead and do it on this one. And now those are lined up, and I will just continue doing that with all of the other ones. Actually, I'm gonna line the big ones up together so that I know that they are lined up properly. And actually with this, I could probably do all of them at the same time and make it super easy, which I should have thought of, but I didn't. Okay. Ooh. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put these in the order that I wanted them. Oh, this one's backwards. I actually kind of liked it backwards because then this one shows more. Okay, I'll go ahead and open that up and put this file folder in there and now that it is all lined up it should be fairly lined up in there and then once you tie it it'll line up a little bit more so I'm going to go ahead and go get my seam binding which I totally should have gotten before and I will be right back actually you can use any ribbon you want and I actually think I'm going to use a different ribbon so I'm going to get something and I'll be right back okay so I have like this giant tub of ribbon is actually like a women's best um like powder thing but I took the label off so I took this I got this um like iridescent blue iridescent uh ribbon and I'm going to be using this for my binding I think this is gonna look really cute so you just go through and stick it through the hole and you can use something help you stick it through if you need to but holes should be big enough to just slip it on through there you go. and you just pull it until it's tight on the inside and I like tying my knot a little up closer to the top so I do like because then it, it'll dangle down when you're holding it like like this uh, but it really doesn't matter whatever you want to do so I do like my bottom one being a little bit longer to kind of accommodate for that and then just tie it in a bow I tie mine in a knot first though and then do the bow so that it's as tight as possible and there we go all tied off and it's 
a little stiff right now, but over time it should it should um hang a little bit better. But even if it doesn't, it's cool. It's cool. It doesn't bother me. Okay, so this is what it looks like now with all the large ones. And then the mini one on the middle. Now, this is larger than any other one I've done. This is more like pages, I guess you'd say. So, let me see. Okay, let me move this so I can get to these. And I want the photo stack. I want the photo stack. Okay. Here it is. I'm going to put the photo stack in there, and then I need these labels. Now, I really, really like doing these because I never even realized until now they're kind of like junk journals in the sense that they're very, like, free in the way you can do them, but it's kind of more like a junk journal meets a scrapbook for me because I wouldn't necessarily use this for like junk stuff but as you can see in whoops as you can see in this one I did put like um junk type things in it like this flower is actually a, from a decoration from the party and one of these pages has a um it's actually one of the little umbrellas and a little drink umbrellas so to me it's kind of like a oh and I think this was from I think these were decorations from the party too, these um, flowers. So I think this really allows you to add more dimensional items while doing like scrapbook style. So to me, it's a scrapbook meets a junk journal. Um, I'm actually going to take this photo stack and put it on the outside of this. Um, memory file. I just think it'll look cute. I'm just, it doesn't really matter to me. I don't even know what I'm going to put in here. I'm just kind of putting things willy nilly. I will just put that right there. And then for the labels, let me go ahead and open this. Okay. So it comes with some like rectangular ones um, and then some that are kind of like this, like scalloped pattern so you can put these on here so I am actually going to be putting a label on the front and the back of this one so I'm going to go ahead and put this pink one on that side and then I will put this map one on the other side Let's see and then I think I'm going to be I think these fit. Oh, I think they're gonna be too big for that one. I think they might fit kind of perfectly on this one, though. So, let me see. I think I'll take actually take this one. That actually works perfectly. Okay, and then I'll put one on the other side as well. I think I'll put, this one matches like this, so I don't want to put that there right next to it. So I'll put this one. It doesn't really bother me that it hangs over and covers some of the um, triangles here. Because um, it would be sticky on this other side, but since I used two, they kind of stick together, so there's no sticky. Uh... I really want to put one right here, but this is kind of too big. But maybe I can cut it down. How far would I have to cut it down? Let me see. And maybe try and round the corners a little bit so it matches the other side. Uh, I guess that's not too bad. Okay, 
There we go. And I actually used a lot of these labels. So I only have two of those left. And that sheet is done. So I just like how it looks with all of the labels on there. And then I can go ahead and put little stickers or some of those little ghost letter things. Okay, so I'm done with these. And, hmm, I'm going to do something else with the other mini one. I have other... this one on the inside right here since this is so like plain but then I feel like I'm gonna need a tag unless I put it like this which I don't necessarily want to do but I don't necessarily not want to do it I think I am gonna put it like this it's not too bad right so I'm just gonna take this, oops, and when I do this I like to get around the edges and then I just put a few strips inside because I don't know how heavy this is going to end up being so I want to make sure it's pretty secure and then stick that in there like that. Now, I just have these large ones. I'm not going to use these, but um, so that opens up like that. that. This is photo stack, which is super cute. And Okay, I actually think I'm going to go through and like go look at my drawer of like Heidi Swap stuff and see if there's anything else in there that I want to put in. Um, I think I might go ahead and put one of these in and then I'm going to check. These are like little Polaroids. So I think I might just like stick a couple down like this and then I can find pictures and stuff to put in them later fill those up later and I'm going to go look at my other stuff see if there's anything else I want to put in here really quick okay so I didn't find anything else that I want to put in here I have a ton of Heidi Swap memory file stuff but nothing else that I wanted to put in here I am just going to go ahead and put in two more of these actually I might put in all of them because I don't know when like when else I'm going to use them could use them in other memory files but I get so little time to actually craft like for personal like purely personal purposes that I don't want to hoard it. I'll put two up here. I think these are gonna look super cute once they're filled in. I can either put a photo in them or I can put a little piece of ephemera or a piece of powder paper and just an embellishment. And it'll be super cute. And then I think I'll put these ones down on the bottom again. running out. 
And that is going to be it. So here it is. So cute. Okay. Here's this. And then I might eventually put something here so that it acts as kind of like a stopper for this, depending on how heavy this page gets. So there's that mini file folder there. And the two little Polaroids on that piece. And then there's this piece with the label on this side and on this side and then the mini memory file with the photo stack in here. I really like how all of these things look together, these colors and everything. Two more Polaroids here and label stickers on both sides and then two more Polaroids and one more little label. This is going to be super cute. I love how like just soft and vintagey it looks. I honestly didn't even do that on purpose, but I'm super excited. I really can't wait to fill this out with some stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this off to the side. And I actually might, I don't know, I was going to say I might make a couple more just to have on hand, but I don't know. I do like using these for specific events. Like when I have pictures, like a lot of pictures from um, one certain event, I do like doing these. I feel like um, that is like really cute. So I do like the fact that I made one for my grandma's birthday because there was a lot of pictures for that. So anyway, um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to use this. It's so cute. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I would super, super, super appreciate it. Um, and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more crafty fun things. And uh, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!